Let's check the updates. Oh yes, the paintwork looks great on the platforms. Have a look at. Besides all the sack work, I'm sick of seeing fucking track work on these videos. It's not the only thing that gets a mention. So, what are we looking at? This is a plan of the right. This is a plan of the layout that's gonna to go to the electric train show. Oh the great electric train show? Yeah. This is where we're joining three together. Yeah, 152 feet. Okay. Uh, the boards in like a purpley colour. Yeah. Uh one and uh, making tracks one and two. Okay. Uh What's up? Oh. all these boards in green mm. are making tracks three. Yeah. So that'll be making tracks, I think that's making tracks two, that's making tracks one. Right. All these yellow the boards at the back are yeah. uh, right. well, the new fiddle yard boards. Yeah. Right. right. All these are actually made now, complete. Okay. Obviously that's a station. Right. Now all these orange uh, little rectangles here are uh, the new Reach. tables and leg supports that we've got to make this week uh, to support the whole 152 foot of layout. The ones in purple are the ones that we've already got. So this uh, station so, that we're looking at now that's in front of us, yeah. what, where is it on there? Is it the green? It's here, it's that, that, that section, section there, yeah, that's it, just that bit. So that section is... You see how Verde is going this. anywhere, Anne? Yeah. Well, well this is only, it's only 32 feet of it, yes. isn't it? I think 40 feet. Yes, it's only got four boards. Yeah. It's four boards. So it's only, it's only 32 feet here. So there's that. There's another two on either end. Mm. Yeah, the bend back in yeah. here and that. Yeah. So we're looking at that to that. Yeah. That's what I've had to build this year. Yes. So that's done. Right. This is this obviously now. Okay. <clears throat> These purple tables are the ones we've already got from making tracks one and two. We had six tables either side. Right. Now we've got to change that. Uh, I think there's um, 13 on the back, 14 on the front, and 14 because of these two, which have got all the station up and they're wider. So all the timber for that's coming tomorrow. So uh, how would, how's the track going to go? Is it going to connect here or is it going to connect yeah, yeah, there? Yeah. And what's this here then? What? Oh, oh sorry, that's at that point. Yeah. That, that's, these are that's some tables. Got it. Right. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I see. Right. Are you with me? Yes. Yeah, so that's the actual plan. Yeah. That's this the is plan. That's the actual plan. Yeah. Yeah. The ones in yellow are the extra fiddle yard boards we had yes. to make, and right. they're done. They're finished. They're stacked on the floor over there. Right. This is the station. That's finished. Yep. These are already done. We've had to redo these two ends. I haven't coloured them in because they're mm. only being used once. Mm. Um, sorry. These are the ones from making tracks one and two. Yep. When they go to Chester, these two ends are new ones, which are here. Right. Stacked up here on this table. Um, Blimey. So we're already planning now and thinking ahead and starting work on... Well, it's, it's done. I say all, all the timber for this is coming tomorrow. Right. So... So when do you start manufacturing? I think morning. How many days or weeks will it take? Uh, to do that, lot, about yeah. a week. It, probably about a week. It depends on weather. Yeah. Because that's to you know, I mean, I think I've got... Um, must have about 300 metres of timber coming tomorrow, it's right. a thousand foot. Surprising how much stuff's in these. Cause All right. people, people are interested, aren't they? Yeah. I think, I think. I'm interested in everything and I think yeah. most people are. Um, yeah. These are all the end boards for the station. Right. You know, for the, for the new front. Yeah. So these are the end boards with... Um, there's a couple down here somewhere, a couple on there. Okay. They're all unique, them. are they, or they're all identified? No, they're all, they're all identified because they've got to be, you know, 5A, 5B. That's the boards they go on. But they just won't fit in. I've just got to put the bolt holes in to connect them up. I can't do that until it separates it. Right. These two boards here are the end two for the end of the station on, on the right. Okay. So these are perhaps nearly finished now. They just want another coat of a light sand, another coat of finish. And then the, the tops, but well, I can't put the tops on till Alan's put his um, tensioners in here for the overhead. 
So these two. are the two missing boards from that plan that we just saw. Two, uh, two from the right hand end. Really yeah. Yeah. And these two here, these two here are the two missing from the left hand end. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, and the end boards are already been on and fitted for these. You know, these Obviously. end boards here. Yeah. They've been tested, no, haven't they? Yeah, they're, they're fitted. They're going ready for stacking. Okay. So that. Was there a significant difference in height that you had to make them for this layout? Yeah, what we decided to do, because of all the buildings that have got to be removable when we yeah. transport the station, yeah. all the vaccines will be removable. Right. Right. So they're going to be bolted on. Which, right. yeah, at the minute you just screw it and put the bolts in. Right. Um, that means, because we're taking the buildings off, mm. we don't need... The, they don't need the transportation boards to be that high. Right. So what I've done, we made them two thirds of this height. Yeah. Okay. So whereas we've got, whereas we can start, you get two of these stacked high like that, we can yeah. get three of the uh, the other ones. Right. So obviously, it might take less. Well, obviously take less room up in the van, but um, it's going to be a problem. There's going to be a lot of stuff to cut. See these bridges growing a bit of uh, grass yeah, as well. Yeah. 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 I don't know what he's going to do here, I don't know what's, what's happening, he's going to, I thought he was going to cover that in, but I don't, want to, I don't want to be painted white. Yeah. So again, can't finish this one till Aaron's put his tensioners in, which are going in here. Is Aaron coming today? No, no, he's working. Okay. Yeah, he's driving today, so. Well, that's their coat, isn't that got a, this one's finishing, but um, I've got to recut that. That's, yeah. So that's all the front. All the fiddle yards yeah. for the new part are all stacked up here and there. Okay. So there's one, two, six, seven, eight boards. That's another 64. There's some here. Another three there. Right. So. And that's, these are the back scenes, this is how, you know, they'll come off and be transported like that off the layout, you know. So, they've only got three, four bolts in each one.
Well, I'm putting the relay cabinets on and things at the minute um, onto our telephone masts. We're at that stage of modelling now where oh, you've picked it up. We're putting the final, some the, the finer detailing. So, having spent two days doing yellow and white lining. I just ask you. Yeah. You're not gluing them down on, on platforms, are you? What? These. No, 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 no. No, no. Yeah, well, that's they go over there. They don't go there. So we, I've made the end boards now. No, no, no. Andy's making the bit to sit it in when when we take it out. Right, it's your, all yours, Andy. Is that its final place? No, no, it goes, it goes here. There's two on the layout. Okay. They go there, but Andy's making the concrete plinth for it to sit on. Because we've... Because Dave is making the, the end boards at the minute to be removable. Right. Um, so that we don't have too much of a space in the, the vans to take it to shows. We've had to come come up with the tall things that we can take off. Right. So that the tallest thing on the layout is actually the walkway on the station, and then everything below that, we don't have a problem. Otherwise, because that stands up here, we mean your end boards would come up, makes you take a lot of space in your van. Yes. And obviously now we're the biggest concern we have of this layout because it's portable is getting it in vans to transport it. Right. Um, Have you done any calculations? Do you know how many vans you'll need? We always need two. We'll need a lot for five. Six. No, for two, for the Chester, we'll, need, we'll probably need a third journey this year. Right. We do two journeys, but we may need three this year. But for Milton Keynes, we might need five vans. Right. And that, you know, that's, I mean, we're going we'll full, up, and that's like th five full Lutons. Um, <laughs> But it, it's it's not just about transport; it's transporting it safely, which is the, 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 you know the main concern. Yeah. Um, but we're, we're not concerned about it. We think we we think we can do it. And again, everything's done so we can repair any damage we do on the way down there. Yeah. But luckily, because you, you know, particularly Milton Keynes, it's such the problem you've got is to explain to the drivers, be careful. Mm. Particularly around here where the roads have got potholes, yeah. the, van, the vans bounce. Mm. And, you know, these are pretty sturdy, but right. you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's, you know, you're shaking it for 40 miles. Yes. You know, and then you go to Milton Keynes and you're shaking it for 140 miles. Yes. So, you know, it's a, you've got to be prepared that something's going to come, a, a, come loose in that 140 miles. Mm. Um, but you want it to be the minimum that you can make it. Right. You know. The biggest problem we've got is when, when the, the stack time and the van suddenly accelerates or brakes, then you, you've got a big load there that's rocking. It's doing, you know, unless it's tied at the top or, or stabilised, you got, can end up with damage like we last year, can we? Yeah. But it's exciting times now, isn't it? I mean, yeah. It's very recognisable. Yeah. Has been for a while. Yeah. Well, the, the biggest job we had and the job that we've been putting off and dreading is the yellow lines. On the platforms? Yeah. yeah. Well, they Great. look brilliant. Oh. I mean, that's, you're looking at probably three days work. Right. And, and mind-numbingly, you know, it, it, repetitive. It, it, oh, you've got to mind the gap in here. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So were they stenciled? How did you do them? Or were they tape? The tape. Right. Uh, cool, Phil's Phil cut tape. Um, there's no other way of doing them. Mm. And they're a bit too bright, but, you know, our excuses, they've just been done for the exhibition. So, you know, they're supposed to be. And what's interesting is that the minor gaps are alternative. Right. So one's, one, one's, one's white, one's yellow. Okay. One face is that way, one face is that way. Right. And when I stopped at Milton Keynes on Tuesday, I realised they are more frequent than you actually think they are. So I've compromised... They look close together, but in fact, in reality, they're probably only two, two, two and a half, two, three metres apart. Okay. So when you when you look at this model, 
Liverpool, you'd need a lot of transfers, you know. And I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure if I rang if I rang um, Steve at Rail Tech, he'd have asked the tech if I asked him for forty sheets. You look at and you stub two foot away. It's a no, you can't see them anyway. anyway. No, you so can't see them anyway. I mean, they're there, but. Well, you know that there. That's the important that's thing, important, isn't it? Bit, yeah. And if you if you yeah. want to look, you can. Yes. That mast you were you were working on before is that that's a telecoms mast, is it? It is, yes. And is that what's that? Is that for the in cab radio for the drivers? Yes. Right. Uh, so and for the signalers, of course. But okay. and there's two on this layout, and it follows through from um, rail track one, which we had the early version on, right, on towards Watford. Um, then we've got these are the modern five G masts. So, um, so do they actually signal via radio on the real railway? No, they don't signal by radio, but the signalman is on radio contact. You know, oh, I you, see. Right. You can call, you can call the signalman. Signal. Yeah, signalman. Right. Um, but now, I mean, we've got some... Hi, John. We're on that stage now where you can see what we're trying to do for the yes. first time. I think this, this video is the first day that it actually looks like we want it to look like still lots to do but at least now we with all the yellow lining on we know we're on the homeward stretch right. so way ahead of where we thought we should. we're way ahead of where we were last year at this time um still got some electronic things that phil's doing we still haven't got the signals in but phil's on with it and and andy's on with it so we're now adding as i say lot just detail now mm. um i've just brought the rfid boards yeah, so it, yeah, that's what Phil's doing today. But and I think that's going to be integrated onto your platform signals as well. Yes, or platform signs, the animated signs. Yeah, it's uh, well. I mean, this this I'm leaving the technical side to Phil because, to be honest, uh, Dave, we've had so you know we've been so involved in the actual modelling this year, the co complexity of it, yeah. and the enormity of it. Yeah, that's the thing. When you start adding buildings like this and stations like this the enormity of actually what you're doing probably is seven or eight times what we've done on on two and two was a seven or eight times more than was on one well, so you know Johnson Keane's show is you're joining the three together that must as soon as you get back from Chester you must be full hands to the pump on that yeah because we have to redo uh, making tracks one to this to the standard right so I mean we talked about this on Sunday uh, on Thursday it's um, get the boards up as soon as we get back and literally join uh, one to that end, to the right. far end, mm. and literally make sure they, they work. Mm. What I'll have to do is I'll get the, um, the back scenes mm. off at some point and paint them alongside mm. these. Right, to get so that I'll make sure they match, yeah. Okay. So, but that's quite simple because I do that with a, a, a six inch brush. Right. So, you know, um, you know, I don't have a problem doing that. No, what are you going for in the back scenes? Are you going for? A, I just do clouds, and uh, there are no, there's very little scenic right. fields on this. So it, it is just clouds, and that, that's what I've I've tended to do, other than on the very first one where we did, where Mike did the the valley uh, under Kevin Viaduct. Right. We've tended to stick to very low scenery. Right. Um, painted hand painted I am painted the trees and that to give it low relief so it fits in well but doesn't detract from the uh, where the eye goes yeah it complements it right yes in. yes so we don't you know I don't want fields I don't want stick on back scenes and you know even on Brinklow uh, uh, Leamington as you've seen we keep the the back scene low right and, and distance right so to, to give you that perspective so the clouds will give you perspective <laughs> Who made these trees? Me. Really? Because yeah. I've been looking a lot at the trees on the videos and I just think they look fantastic. Well, that's my, you know, that's my passion, as you know, it's trees. So they're, they're, they were a challenge. So what they are is barbecue skewers. Right. With, um, and I, I then stick every branch on individually. Blimey. And then I spray with four or five different um, colours right? and you know a good tip for anybody who wants to build trees is I make all my own foliage as you know from sawdust and I dye it but to give you the reality of a tree I use um, aircraft paints right I use the Luftwaffe 
drab olive and dark green. Okay. And, and the, the British camouflage green, and they're brilliant. They are absolutely brilliant. So I dye the, um, the foliage a lightish green, which you can see on the trees there. That's yep. just natural foliage. Mm. I haven't touched them yet, just because they're ornamental trees. Right. But populars or... or well, that, these would be Cypress Lalanda, I think they are. Right. They're darker because okay. uh, they're conifers. Um, and you get that, w w particularly drab olive is great. Uh, and they look for, for dark green. They give you, you can play, you know, you, you can see I even do it on the grass. You know, I put shade, you know, I put waves in the grass by just giving it, you know, you can, if you look here, look, there's three different colours in there. Yes. So what we've discovered... Um, Paul and I and Andy, who, you know, we're the guys that do the grass and that. The real secret mm. is to cut your teddy bear fur okay. and then put your static grass on top of your teddy bear fur. Right. It's an expensive way, but you can't beat it. To give you a depth. Oh, and it just looks fantastic. It adds, it adds, oh, it's, it's a different dimension. Dave. It's, 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 it's different. It's, yeah. it's, here's static grass as static grass. Right. Which is fine. Yeah. Well, but, it here's, there, it? but here's static grass on top of teddy bear yeah. fur. And it's a different ball game. It's just, it's real grass. You, uh, you can cheat. And we haven't really worked on this yet. Right. We've done bits. Um, I want to spray that. Yeah, do you want me to go on the bottom? Not for a minute. So that's where we are. Brilliant. How um, do you know when to stop? Well, there always comes a point when you know you've got to stop and it's called time. Right. You know, so, you know, I mean, I'm, I, I've been offered a job in Australia for, for 16 weeks. Right. Uh, for 16 days. Right. So, you know, I could, look, I could miss two weeks building. So I'm sort of playing that in mind. Right. Um, but I'm pretty well, pretty well. So when Phil's done the work with you today on the, the lights, him and I got to sit down and work out the roads. Mm -hmm. I've got a little bit of joinery to do around the station car park. I've got a brick wall I've got to do. But today with Andy, right. before he goes, because he's been on nights, mm -hmm. I want to just get all the relay cabinets and cubicles in place mm. so that I know that's another job ticked off. Yeah. So I, I mentally have a picture of how many jobs there are and I wrote out last night all the jobs because there's no point in writing 150 jobs down, no. but I'm down to 30 jobs. Okay. So I'm down to 30 jobs. I can put that down. That doesn't include Dave's boards because he yeah. takes care of the boards. Yeah. Doesn't include, uh, you know, um, the electronics because that's down to fill but just scenic jobs and jobs that you know like the station buildings we still haven't done them yet they're they're jobs that are on my list because they're they're the jobs that i do and can my they, team can do. they be done independently of everything else that's going on yes right yes but we're at that stage now where we've got to start tying it together yeah so if you look at the end board yeah, we just we're which looked at that right. before with Dave. Eh? 53, you were yeah. right. I miss it. Yeah. Oh, you look yeah. at that board, yeah. right, you can see this board is, we've started to, to work on the finished article. Right. This is the first board that's pretty well scenically finished. There's not a lot to do. Okay. We've got to put the wires up, got to put the signal gantries up, and, and Phil's got to do the electric, but actually, scenic-wise, it's complete. Right. We might do some touches, but... So this is the first part of the layout we've finished, where we can say we've finished. The boards at the other end, we've started, but they haven't got all the gantries. I've still got 10 gantries to make. Right. And we've still got all the scenery to put on. But that's the stage we're at where... Right. We'll be finished the, two, the four end boards quite quickly. Right. Now, they'll be finished by the end of this month. OK. Then it's all down to finishing all the station oh, yeah. middle of. Right, got it. Right. Bill's just about to set that. Are you going to test run it? Yeah. Because we done, we've done the other ones. And the tape is for what? Clearing the, the tape? The tape is for the gantries and the other bits that are uh, yet to be done where the catenary goes.
Does that mean you slack off, back off, or just do <laughs> no, more? No, I think there's actually more to do yeah. this year. Um, you know, in, in area, it's a, it's, it's a bigger layout. Mm. Although, uh, although it's still 64 feet long, some of the way the station is, it's four foot wide, mm. where it was only two feet before. And of course, we're doing fiddle yards and things for Milton Keynes as well. And the bi directional platform. Yeah. Which looks brilliant. I can't wait to get involved with that. Have a play. Good. You can work out a way of doing it. <laughs> or, or what we have, the problem we've got is how can we have operators. Will you? You'll start off. We've got to have a date from where we set from. Yes. But what I'm saying is we don't want to put all the legs out, then start putting all the baseboards oh, out. No. We want the two legs, two tables, then two base, and then keep going along. But what we don't want is what we had at Chester the first time, where somebody went down this side putting them up, somebody went down this side putting them up. Yeah, and then when we, got to, when we come to join the corners on, because it was half inch out, Pete said the boards were out, which is all but the walls weren't out. What it was, it, we, had, we had a kind of parallelogram effect. You know what I mean? Yeah, then, yeah. And, and you're trying to move 64 foot of layout. You just oh. can't do it. No. But so we've got the corners up first. These are the critical. Yes. And then you can either have all fiddle yard up. Is that what you want? No, we don't. What you need to do really is depending again depending on who will go. If you do the corners, yeah. you, you are better working this way because you're getting right. twice as well, much I've got done. A staff that, I've got a staff that gives us a distance across, yeah. so they'll run parallel all the way down. Because look that. This corner is critical. It's either this corner or that yeah. corner, so you can decide which you want. Because we're get going, there, we're going down on the Wednesday, right? Yeah. Yeah. We've done before Chester, not before Milton Keynes. Yeah, I know. Because oh, I've only got. What have we got now? Three months. Isn't it? Ten weeks, haven't we? Ten weeks. Yeah. No. Like we go. It's the twenty. Mate, we go got, in the twenty fourth. Eight weeks. We've we got two weeks left in this month. We go in on and the, the week in July. We go in on the twenty fourth. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen weeks. Yeah. Um, yeah. You can open ten. You've got an extra month. Yeah. The the thing is that for Chester, these tables here are not important because they're all for, for for Milton Keynes. Yes. Yeah. For Chester, we'll be using just these purple ones, which but we've already got. Yeah. Right. So when you've done that, yeah, yeah. see, <clears throat> there's a mast over here. At Chester right. last year, yeah. we had lunch, didn't we? Yeah. Because <coughs> we messed about spinning it round. Then, right. we, then we come back and do the ten minute turnaround, which took two hours. Yeah, what I'm saying is the whole layout was done in two hours. <laughs> hey? It was all done up in two hours, yeah. including messing about spinning it round and everything. Yeah. Well, the thing and the floor we... was out of level there. That's that's yeah. what I'm saying. This because well, it's all level. Yeah. The, I mean, technically, I think we'll race down there at Milton Keynes. Because we could, we could do the table go. heights before we even go. What do you mean? You know, your, your feet. They no, you can't, because when you go on the, we, Through experience, oh, move. moving them in the van, by the time you get to wherever I, I, you're going... Haven't you got a lock knock on the bottom? I can't. I've got some, yeah, I've got, yeah, but you're not going to do that, are you? you could, one thing is, if you put your lock knocks on here, and if it's flat, we could, you could... The thing is, you know, if it is wrong, you've got to do more. I know, I know. You've got to have a spanner on them all. You don't want to be doing yeah, that. Yeah, I know. You've got to have, when you get them off the van, turn them upside down, put this little jig on. Exactly. Well, one person... Give the bottom of the foot off the bottom of the leg, which is about 40 mil, something like yeah. that, 37 See, the, the biggest thing we've got to sort out is the reverse loading of the van. Yeah, coming back. No, no, no. So when we, when we get the vans, we don't want to empty all five vans. No, we've got to get the ones we need first. We don't want, we don't want to spend the morning emptying the vans to move it again later. We want to... That's yeah. great. Yeah, that, so... We want to take it straight out of the van. We want a van load of all the bases yeah. and little beams. Well, you, you can't do that. Uh, why not? Why? Because yeah, you've what, got to fit it when in. When you see how much stuff there is, it's going to take a, a small van to shift all that. Yeah, but for, for example, <clears throat> you've got to get your fiddle... All these baseboard things have to go at the back. Yeah. Then all your legs fill around it. If I cut these beams to seven foot, the ones we've already got... Yeah. To some, instead of eight, yeah. I think you're stacking vertically and, and time to decide it round stood up Wait, instead of on one floor. Yeah, you might do it seven. I mean, I'm, I was getting in it, I'm six foot yeah, three. Yeah, you'll do it that way. Like clearance, don't I? Um, yeah. all, these new bo all these new beams will be seven foot because the length of timber, I can. You know, they're they're four. The yeah. Sorry? They're 4.2. Have we advertised three? Oh, can I there's get four in four total. Well, yeah. <laughs> there's three in the box because you already made one. That looks all right, doesn't it? But like I said, <coughs> okay, so for this 
uh, telecommunications master. We just need to build a small plinth, uh, which we've done. And as you can see there, so Pete's painted it in a concrete colour. I've just put a bit of foliage around it just to conceal the uh, the part where it meets the back embankment. And uh, that's it. That will be weathered. The base will be weathered. And I'll just sit there with that it. We'll just sit there. So we'll leave it removable. So when it's been transported, there's no chance that's going to get broken off. Put a magnet in each side or something? Uh, no, we might put a spot of view who on it when okay. it's uh, when the layout's in. But yeah, it's almost plumb. It's almost perpendicular. But that's uh, yeah, good is, enough. Is the other one at the other end? Does that get the same treatment? Uh, that at that end? Yeah. I'm not sure whether it's actually mounted on that inclined surface. It might be on a flat surface anyway. But okay. if it isn't, then obviously yes, it'll get the same treatment as that. But yeah, it looks okay. Yeah, it looks great. Just need to weather that now and it'll be perfect. Uh, high speed point motors. Oh, there you go. Okay. So they're in line. <coughs> okay. The in line. After all, come out. No, they're not going to come out. All the couplings are going to get cut. If they run on here, I'm cutting the couplings. They don't want them. There we are. They're running on here. Okay. No, it's it done. Is it? So it wasn't. It's only on those two platforms again. Yeah, it's worth. Yeah. Right. High speeds. Ah, oh, right. I'm with you. Bloody hell! It helped. There were some teeth on it. What's he done with this? They're worn out. They're worn out very quickly. Yeah, but I have got some spares, but I haven't got them here. Yeah, I've got. I've got some, but I've not got them here either. I thought I'd use Pete's. I should have brought mine. Bloody hell! I wear it away now. What's, not, what's happened here? When these these MDF sheets are slightly bigger, believe it or not, than the sheets apply by about an eighth of an inch. Right. So I want to put them on, I left them long in order to trim them. But the was, boards were separated. Anyway, Pete put them back together, and because it wouldn't go together, you just pull the side off. So it's all loose now, look. So I've got to trim it in situ and re glue it. Okay. I love doing work. Right. Yeah, let's get let's get a proper train on. I think they look colourful and great. Oh shit, still not right. Hang on a minute. Alright. Get my glasses on, I'll be able to see what I'm doing. Alright. 
get out rusty door. Yeah, well, I should have a glass of I'll do. Right. That's sorted. Good. That was done by a proper sitting disc straight to the bone. Sand that. A minute. And we'll be right. Get it. I can paint it. Till you do it again next time? Well, it won't be, won't be next time, because that'll be it. Which one was it? Just the uh, other one. one. Just those two. No, next one down. M2. We won't get a drink, then we can have a new one. Go on. Go on. I'm just try it on. Can you just... Oh, sorry, move. Can't be fixed. No, we've got a short still. Um, on this board now. On that board? Yeah. Let's try again. No, it's definitely shorting. Mm. Could be anywhere, couldn't it? He said he's not cut them all through, so... But normally you can hear it buzzing. You see by the wire, we're taking the two. Sorry? The loco's not on the track. That doesn't matter. Okay. He couldn't that be short. Loose. It's a bit compressor. I think it's this end. Can I just borrow the Dremel, please? Yeah, we won't reach up there, though, will it? <sighs> hang on, Dave, hang on, Dave, hang on, Dave! So we're at Dave's workshop. He's had his wood delivery. Let's see what he's up to. Hi Dave. Hi Dave, you all right? Yeah, all good. <laughs> right, today we're making the leg frames for the rest of the layout, which is basically all the back for Milton Keynes. Okay. Because initially we've only got 12 leg frames, which was ideal for a 64 foot layout. We had right. six, six tables either side. Yes. Now we've got to have uh, 13 tables on the back and 14 on the front. So all the legs, all the tables for the whole layout were made in here, were they? They will be. Yeah. This is where the this magic is the happens. Of, this is the last of them now. Okay. Right. Uh, this is what we're making. These. These are two from making tracks one. Right? Okay. Yeah. Now all these were made with traditional mortise and tenons. Okay. Like these. Yeah. So that takes a bit of time. Yes. Oh, it takes too long. It's, uh, and I've got 60. Uh, I've got 60 of these tonight. All right. But, sorry, 30. 30, 30 today. So that would be the craftsman in the in the oh, original well, days no, of people I'm not that to do, it, but it's, it's oh. still time. It's okay. you know you're moving the you know half inch square at a time in the mortise, and you've got right. to move it along four times, and then you've got to clean it out, and then you've got to cut the tenons. Right. So it's too long. 
That's my phone. So I now I feel you're leading me to something high tech. Yeah. So now what I've done, I mean, it's people say you, you're mad spending that kind of money, but I bought I bought this, and it's it's absolute super tool. Now this puts these. You can't get the bloody things. These things. Biscuits. They're such a good fit. Well, yeah. But what do you do? You buy you buy these and um, a box of them down so, there. So they're all ready made. Well, that they are. They're already shaped. Is that like a funny shaped dowel? Yeah, yeah. I've right. seen them. They've got grooves in and everything. Oh, okay. Oh, and yeah. They're, they're absolutely super fit. Is the grooves so the glue can run? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, you don't. To be honest, you don't need that much glue anyway. I mean, when these are in, you know, they're tight. All oh, right. It's proper. Super fit. Right. Now these 120 mortises in there. Right. They took less than 15 minutes to do the lot. Right. Well, you're uh, going to make one now for us. Yeah, I'll do now. Oh wow. What I've got to do yeah. is the legs now. Okay. So I've got to do. I've got to do these now. That, that these fit in. Uh, I'll just show you. Not easy to get out. Right. Yeah. Make the right sound. Yeah. All right. Now the beauty with this machine. Yeah. These mortises don't have to be exactly in the middle. Okay. Right? But what you have got to do is make sure they mark with a which side you're working from. Okay. Right. Because if obviously if you if you if you if you turn it over and you don't mark them, you can end up if it's not dead centre. Mm -hmm. It uh, obviously it won't line up. So all these here, they've all been. You see there. That's telling me which side to to do the mortise on. Okay. That's the centre line, and that's all I need to do. I don't need any measurements now. Forgive my ignorance. Is the mortise the hole? Mortise is the hole. And the tenon is the bit that sticks out. The tenon is the bit that sticks out, yeah. Okay. But these are lo what you call loose tenons, basically. See, I'm getting educated on this layout. Yeah. But they're absolutely, it is, it's absolutely superb. But it's so quick. I mean, I did them this morning, so what I'll do. But it's slop free as well, is yeah. it? Yeah, there's no slop in it. Is that your jig? No, no, it's just a. I don't, otherwise, I'd end up over here. Oh, okay. It's just to, you know, these are just to stop okay. it all moving back. I, I've got. This is all the space I've got to work in okay. all the time, so you have to adapt and make, you know, the old story. <laughs> Everybody would like a massive workshop, but this ain't going to happen here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've had this for 40 years, so... Right. So, I was going to put my glasses do you think? Do you know where everything is now after 40 years? Yeah, just a bit, yeah. yeah. Pretty well, but the trouble I've got that much stuff now. I know I've got it, I can, sometimes I can't find it. So, I'm going to mark the, do these two. Okay. So you put this on there. Hang on, shall I come around the other you side? You can come around if you want. Just need to see where I'm where I am. Okay. See, I've got a problem with that side up right. You make sure with this that you all your weight is on that. Okay. So you don't get any any of this, right? Mm hmm And you just switch it on. Here we we'll start. Right. Seven. Yeah, about six or seven. No messing about there. No, no messing about. And it's a slot free joint now, is it? It will be, yeah. And do this one. With some encouragement. Yeah, I'll have to pull them out anyway to glue it. A tight fit though is a slot free Well, it's got to be, hasn't it? Yeah. And obviously, because this is the side. Right. Make sure the X's are all facing you. Yep. Look at that, Dave. Perfect joint. You're not, you're not wrong, are you? That's yeah, absolutely look at that, spot how firm on. that yeah. is. And there's no... No glue in it yet. No wiggle, no. No. Very good. I mean, that's how quick it is. It's, it's just, just a massive time saver. I mean, I've got, you know, 30 of these to make. It must be about, I forget how many hundred weight of timber I've had. Just and these are just the expansion boards for making tracks. To these are the one, tables two, for holding it all up. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll do this one, uh, make sure I'm doing the right side, which is this side. Come around handy. this side this time. They're handed, you see. Obviously, you've got to pick the best face. It's just on the outside. Right. Right. And then you can decide how you're gonna how you're gonna do them. I mean, it's just a matter of banging this in. I can't see the bloody thing. That's a problem. There. Yeah. 
see the line. That's, a, that's my biggest problem at the minute. That's why I'm glad there's no measuring. <laughs> So that's that pair done. All the guesswork's gone. All the guesswork's gone. Right. I suppose that's only appropriate though if you're doing a lot of something, isn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah, but I've got loads, you know. I'm, it's not just, it's a time saver all around. I, yeah. You can spend days and days. And don't forget, I'm really, I mean, it's great today. Lovely sunny day, but I'm yeah. at the mercy of the weather here because I, you know, there's a limit to what I can do inside here. Right. I have to work outside there normally. If it's big sheet stuff like the baseboards. Mm. So if it's raining, yeah. I'm stuck. So you've got to get it done this week before the rain's forecast yeah, again. All the baseboards are made. All right. the vaccines are made. Right. Uh, all the carrying boards are made. This is the last I've got to make. Um, after this, you then go on to putting these. In. You see, the work's not finished yet, even when they're okay. going together. Well, that didn't make itself, did it? No. Then, show you this one. I'll took the legs out just to show you. Right. So these all want chamfering now. Right. Hold it still. Let's have a bit of video. Yeah, yeah right. And that's for the adjustable foot. Right. Okay. And then this will want going on that bandsaw yeah. to cut them out. Okay. Which is where the, the beams go for, to make the table up. Okay. Right. Now, what I'll do, do here, to do this chamfer, if I mean, put this up here. Yeah. Come around this side. Let's get the light behind. Now, me. when you're putting the chamfer on four corners, if you yeah. did the first one, yeah. and then you push, eventually it gets shorter. Right. Right. It's like you end up with a bigger chamfer on one side. So what you do, you work to the backstop, which okay. is here, and just do this. Quick chamfer on that. Yeah. I'll give that one as well, because that'll have to be done at that end. Part of it'll be, part of it'll be cut away. So that's two ends chamfered. Yeah. Brilliant. The next bit yeah. is that's the top, so this is the bottom. Drill hole in there now. Okay. Tend to put that. Yeah. Drill a eight and a half mil hole in it. Yeah. Knock the tree nuts in. Which I had one here. Oh, that's on there to show you. These are your captive nuts. These are the, yeah. What they do. Yeah. I use the same thing on the uh, mimic yeah. panel enclosures, but they're uh, M3. Yeah. Right. A lot yeah, smaller. Yeah. So these go in there obviously, knock them okay. in, yep. you drill a hole, two inches in, plenty for these, and then do your just all feet, and so that's that job done. So, so you've got to find ways of speeding everything well, up. it's repetition I suppose. It's, you know, it's like there's a lot of videos on YouTube and they all say it's rinse and repeat, so, yeah. <laughs> you know, which it is basically. So how many legs are you doing, these? I've got 30 of these to do. Okay. I've got 30 beams. How many have you done so far? Well, this is, I've left, I waited till you come. Okay. I could, have, I could have done all these last night. All oh, right. Oh. But I've, I've, so it's I've, my fault. No, no, no. You wanted to see how it's done, so I'm not bothered yet. I I've do. Got, listen, I've got all the time in the world. I've got these these legs I'm making now, and don't have to be ready till October. Right. Oh, okay. We've got enough to take it to Chester. Yeah. Now, right. Because we're only doing 64 feet at Chester. Yeah. But these have got till October. But these will be. I'll, I'll finish these this week. All right. Uh, these are eight foot long. Okay. Well, unfortunately, this time I couldn't get timbers long enough uh, to get two out of. Right. Because you need 4.8, you need nearly 5.1 metre timbers. So there's a bit of waste on well, this. Well, they've only it? got 4.2s. Right. So this year, it, for the fiddle yard, there'll be seven foot. Right. It's no earache. I mean, those boards, they're eight foot long, they'll span. It's, it's not a problem. Uh, and all these are is basically a 3B1 and a 2B1 glued and fastened together. These are for the legs. 
Right. Okay, this like it makes it like a rail, is it, I suppose? Well, it's a beam. It's a, it's a beam. Right. Yeah, it's a beam to all the layout. Uh, you, you've seen us putting them up at the cathedral in the last mm. the videos, haven't you? Yeah. Remember when we had the, uh, the Benny Hill dance with the... Uh... Oh, I. <laughs> Just let us go and get a leg. You got to try, you know. You got to show. You got to try and make things but assemble quick. Yes. You know. So obviously that, that just goes in there, yeah. Right. And because that's got a captive nut in there now, we don't need to. We cut away with having another washer in the wing nut, right? Because it just goes into these socket screws here, yeah. Right. Yep. So that's 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 that'll speed the job up. And it just fit on. You know, and it's like that. And that's the job. So you don't need an A-frame or anything because you've got no slop in your joints? There's no, well, that, no, that's because they're tight there, you see that? Yeah. That's the locking. Right. So they can't go anywhere. Once, they, once they're tight up, Dave, yes. you can't, you know, I mean, it will, it will at the minute. Don't forget, these are three years old now when they dried out. And you've only got one so, on. But once you're tightened up yeah. with a bolt, does not go going anywhere. anywhere. Right. Because you've got a 64-foot run. Yeah. It can't go anywhere. Yeah. Um, and that's, that's, that's Brilliant. So, so all them are ready to be made. And I've got to make, um, after I've done these, there is one other job I've got to do, which is uh, I've got to make some crates for carrying all the buildings right. separate from the layout. Okay. Well, one of them buildings is six foot six long, so I've got these timbers here. I can, I can cut these up and make them out of that, what I need. You know, I'll, I'll cut these down middle and I'll use them as... Right. They, don't, they need to be light. Yes. You know, so they cut them into three quarters square and put them through planer. Right. And then six mil ply and make some crates up. Brilliant. So I don't know how many, I think, I've probably got about half a dozen crates to make. You protect the buildings. Don't want to break protect. the glass, do you? Well, yeah. Well, we don't want to damage them anyway, do we, really? Yeah. You know, anything can happen in the van. <laughs> <laughs> Born this saw, 1976. All right. I'll tell you what, talk about wound its keep, it's amazing. And you still got all your fingers? Yeah. Yeah. I was always taught to be an apprentice, they always used to have a, in the saw shop, they always used to have a, a poster on the wall. Right. What it was, it was a cobra. And it says, as soon as you stop paying attention, it'll bite you. Yeah. And that's a golden rule, and I've always, you yeah. know, you can, even though I've had 60 years in game, they'll get you. Yeah. They're only waiting to bite you. Yeah. I only ever got caught once, and it was stupid, really. Um, I was making some trays for it to stop. Right. And I had some very, well, three metres hardboard at the time. Yeah. And I had to put a groove in for the wheels. Right. And this saw will go anyway. It'll come out and it turns and it'll, right. Yeah. So I had it turned the other way. Well, you rely on this, you rely on them two there to right. grip the timber. Okay. And what it did, as I was cutting it, I got near the end and I just let go and the bloody thing come back, right? Come back like an arrow. It went straight through that finger and into the end of my thumb. And that was hmm, probably 30 years ago. Right. And uh, you only do it once. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like hell, yeah. Just waiting. It bloody did, yeah. Yeah. You can't be too careful with them. 
Well, it's a lovely saw. How else well, can you? Quick, can you do that? It's surprising what you can do in such, a, you know, in a small space. You don't need, you know, it's great to have a big workshop, but not everybody can uh, can afford one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah,